Let's take, let's take a moment and talk about coffee grinders. In this episode, we have a versus match, a manual grinder and an electrical coffee grinder. Both of them do grinding of coffee beans and other coffee types. These are two top of the range manufacturers, DeLonghi and Grunweg. Grunweg tends to make luxury, very high grade of kitchenware products from knives, from sharpeners and coffee grinders. DeLonghi are an open market, they do coffee machines, they do blenders, they do toasters, they do kettles. So there are lots of varieties with the electrical based coffee grinder. Uh, the main advantage of the electrical coffee grinder itself is you can do coarse, you can do medium, you can do fine and you can set the amount of degree of coffee you need to be grinded so if you have, if you just want to have an espresso or if you do want to have a larger mug you will choose the coffee size and it does give you, it's more intuitive have to say the DeLonghi one so it gives you more flexibility with the Grunweg one is one size it just grinds all the coffee so let's uh, start uh, with the Grunweg one let's open it up and put some coffee in and see how it goes well, let's have a go opening it up so I think you twist and just open so it's quite a pretty simple this will be there here if you look at it that's where all the coffee goes in and at the bottom here it's where the ceramic grinder is. The best thing about ceramic grinders, they last a long time, they don't corrode and they won't break off that easy like steel can wear out. Ceramic grinders are one of the top of the things, they're very heavy duty. That's the main reason they use ceramic brakes and things like that on cars that are quite expensive, quite high grade. So let's put some coffee in. So we'll start with one or two, put the coffee in get some more and a few more just to try it how good it is if you put less can you do this so let's put that back in and oh, that clips on and this one should just clip on yep yeah, it has clipped on so let's have a go and see if it does grind quite easily or does it grind badly so we'll twist around around to say looking at the ground coffee it's quite thick so these are the ground coffee it's, it hasn't grinded as I expected the ceramic blade I expect it to be quite thin fine and to grind it quite expertly but it hasn't it's quite thick so we may need to adjust the size so let's see if we can adjust the size anyway and see if we could do any better let's have a go by looking inside of the Grunweg coffee uh, grinder, they can't see any way to adjust the size itself. It's very awkward. Uh, you can take the nails off to, uh, I think to adjust the frame of it, but other than that you can't. It's going to give you, it's a lot more fiddly. It's going to give you the thick size of coffee. So I have to say I'm very disappointed with the Grunweg coffee grinder if you do want something thick as you see here it's if you might not mind that if you do want a more of a potent coffee but if you do want to grind it more thinner it's going to be a lot more harder to do with that with the Grunweg uh, coffee grinder it's been disappointing it's 25 pounds it's got great aspects as a ceramic grinder and everything so it, it would have been one of the great coffee grinders but because of uh, the adjustment functionality there's nothing there you can't really adjust it you can't use it other than just a coarse coffee grinder so let's move this out of the way and we'll get started on the DeLonghi uh, coffee grinder this one I'm expecting to do better because it does give you different functions and everything so without any further we'll get into that, put some coffee in and see how it goes. So with uh, the Dilongi coffee grinder you can adjust the size. So you just twist here, 
to adjust the size. So this steel frame here, you just push that along to the left, to the right, to adjust the size of the coffee. So we'll stay on six and try how it grinds and see how it goes. So I'll put some coffee in and see if it's fine or thick or whichever it is. So let's put the coffee in and try it out. Take the lid off and easy as that. It slides through the grooves here uh, to take off the lid. So it's very easy, you can't really go wrong with it. You've got the groove here. This is where the grinder is. So it's the stainless steel blade that rotates round and round and round to grind. So not much technique to it. You've got the plug-in function, you've got the DeLonghi logo, you've got the coffee image to it. And we'll put the coffee in and try it out. Let's um, put some coffee in. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, six. Alrighty then. I'm not going to put much in, so it'll give you a good test on if it's good or bad or anything like that. So we'll put the, co the coffee in. We'll put the jug back in and see how easy it is. It's oh, very simple to put in. So let's press down and try to grind. So we're on the grade six so that will be just under a medium grind so let's try that it's quite it's quite loud and you do have to push down quite hard on it to do it all right a few grinds have gone so we'll unlock it and see what it looks like inside. So would I do, should I do another grind? I'll do one more grind, three attempts. You push down and it grinds for you. It's quite easy to use, simple, a bit more easier than the Grunweg one, but we'll have a look if it's better or worse than Grunweg. Let's open it up and let's have a look. Oh yes, it has grinded it. It has done coarse, so I am in the coarse function and it has grinded it quite coarsely. So it's nice coffee there. Yeah, it's definitely one that has done what I expected. I didn't expect it not to perform that well. Being an electrical one for some reason, but it has done quite well. So let's try the fine. So that, the fine, it gives you more cups, more mugs of coffee. So we'll go in the fine setting, do that three times, see if it actually makes that difference. So let's go and grind. One grind, we'll do another one. Two grind, and one more. That's the third grind. We'll be able to see if it's any good or bad or how good it is or how bad it is with this grind. I'm expecting it to be fine, so let's find out if it is fine. Open up, and it is. Absolutely. It has done the job it says on the label, so it has grinded it pretty fine, as you can see here. Yep. Yeah. So I am very satisfied with the DeLonghi coffee grinder itself. It's very easy to use compact will fit on any cage any kitchen i mean i'm not saying cage for i'm going crazy right it will fit in any kitchen it's a nice compact size it definitely works so you can do fine coarse and um, uh, medium in this so without for any reason i'll hands down recommend the delonghi over the grunweg coffee maker it's a very nice coffee maker uh, grinder, what am I saying maker, it's a definitely a grinder, you will grind to make coffee, yeah. I will definitely recommend the Longi over the Grunweg, if you don't mind having coarse uh, coffee, medium coarse coffee, it's absolutely fine, it doesn't need more workmanship to go, so I'll give it out of 3 out of 5, and I'll give it 4.5 out of 5 for the DeLonghi. They're both 25, but hands down, 
the DeLonghi is the one to buy if you do want a coffee grinder that works all the time and every time compact design and it just works if you do enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't let me know if you do want more information about this where to buy it and how to buy it you can buy these on Amazon and other department stores like House of Fraser, Debenhams and all that thank you bye bye